Hey you guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to bring to you guys um, a video on this new piece um, Vera Bradley just recently released. Um, this is their deluxe pill case and it is actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Let me just find the tag so I can give you guys the exact name. So it is called the deluxe travel pill case and this is in the pattern citrus paisley. So before I get into the features, I kind of just want to show you all the pattern and then I brought out some other pill cases that I have so we can compare them. Um, and then I'll, as I'm speaking on it and whatnot, I'll go ahead and I'll share like my opinions and my thoughts and all of that. Um, but this is the pattern Citrus Paisley. It is really, really pretty. Um, you get some corals, aquas, gray, lime green. Um, there's even some white and like a peach color. Um, if you see there, like that, that just looks really pretty. Um, my favorite element in this pattern are these little flowers that you see right there. Um, I just think they're really, really cute. So that is one side of the bag, which is the front. And then this is the back side. There you can see the turquoise, the orange, the peach color, the gray, the lime green. It is just, they all of the colors just complement each other very well. Um, so I will go ahead and start the, like what the inside looks like and then I'll bring out the comparison. So this is really deluxe. I did not think it was going to be this big, um, but right now I'll show you all, but it does, it is comprised of um, two compartments. So you have the main zip compartment here up top um, that you have the three little containers and then you have the bottom compartment, which also has, I'm holding this backwards, which also has further organization there. So since I have the bottom open, let's go ahead and just start with that. Um, you do get three little plastic containers. Um, I actually like, that they are plastic and I'll explain why in a little bit um, but anyways so this is what they look like they're actually pretty spacious um, and they are see-through so you can actually see your pills really nicely so you get three of them in there and the top compartment I'm gonna just zip this up so I don't drop anything and the top compartment you get three vials these vials are huge. <laughs> They're really big. So I, you can fit an entire bottle of Aleve in here, like any 50 count pills, like you can fit. I tested my 24 count Aleve bottle that you can get over the counter. Um, and the entire thing fit in here with lots and lots of room to spare. So not only do you get one, but you get three of these bad boys. So they are pretty huge. Um, they are this plastic material, but this is a material that can shatter, um, which is why I, I do think, I do feel like this would be better if they were more like of a flexible plastic versus this shattery plastic, if that makes sense. Um, let me show you guys why I prefer that, because... This is the other pill case. So let me go ahead and just show you a comparison like of what the, all the pill cases look like. So here you have the Deluxe and then this is the one, the travel pill case that Vera currently has um, on their site. And then this one is one that was released like a long time ago. They don't even make this anymore. I actually got this off of, I wanna say it was eBay. I know Kelly over at Potato Peach on YouTube and VB Peachy on um, Instagram. She helped me locate one of these and I was able to snag one. So this is the size comparison of the three. So you can see the Deluxe is pretty Deluxe compared to um, the very first rendition and then this one. So let me show you guys why I wish <laughs> those, um, like the plastic, that shattery plastic was in a regular, like the plastic inserts that come at the bottom of the pill case. Because here, I don't know if you can see, but this is a little vial that came with this one. It's really hard to, to see, but you can tell like 
on the plastic I don't know if this will focus like here I can't really see if y'all can see that but you can see like little shatter lines and then you can see them again over on this side so I've had this for a while and I do use this and I do stuff my bag sometimes and I'm pretty sure like the pressure like this is not gonna only protect it so much so I'm sure you know the constant like pressure and whatnot does affect the the like the the integrity of the the plastic like the little vials so if we come back to this this one I'm gonna show you guys the difference in size because it is pretty big um, here you go I have Tums in here so here you can see how they are very 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 different in size so this is the smaller one and this is the one in the deluxe you can see there I wonder if it'll focus probably not but I think we get the picture it's pretty big it's a pretty big difference and what I okay so I do wish, what I do think should be different is, I feel like this is too big, like no one is really going to carry around like a big bottle. It would have been nice if this was compartmentalized into two sections and maybe like, like it have a twist. Um, I don't know if y'all like remember those lip balms back in the day where you get like a stack of lip balms and you can like twist off and it's like the cap would be the top part of the vial. I think that would have been a great idea. Um, I hope that they probably kind of change this a little bit because I feel like it'll just be more functional and for those of you who like take vitamins and different kind of medication I feel like you can get instead of three different meds unless you have a really good memory and you don't mind mixing your meds but that's actually really dangerous and as a nurse I do not advise you do that um, you can like you know you have more like options there instead of being stuck to like these three big containers um, aside from that I'm gonna remove them and you do get a lot of space inside so the interior space is pretty big I actually think that they could have afforded to put um, like an interior zip compartment because um, you know sometimes you get pills that are like blister pack pills that would have been nice to keep in here but there is no inside um, there is no interior organization aside from this wide opening which I appreciate you do get some side gussets here on each side and then your pills would just kind of pop in there these little pill containers I think I have a zip ID here I don't have a zip ID but I have a coin purse I just kind of want to show you all um, like let's say like me for example I use a zip ID to keep my pills that are in a blister pack in um, and I have not actually tested to see if it would work. Sorry, I'm having a hard time taking this off. Okay, so this is a coin purse. Let's just kind of see if a coin purse would fit here in the main compartment. So this is a coin purse inside. It It is, I do feel like it's going to be a snug fit. I feel like I could zip it, but I feel like it's a little too big that it could put pressure on the little um, pill bottles and then cause them to maybe crack and we don't want that but let me just test this out for you all because I know the zip IDs are a little slimmer and smaller than a, a coin purse but I was able to zip that up as you can see oh sh shoot <laughs> excuse me um so yeah so let me just take this out So that is what the inside compartment is like so I want to show you guys because I thought when I first got this I was like well maybe I can put like a Monday through Friday um, the inserts that come in this pill case in here but it does not fit like they won't be a good fit so let me go ahead and just remove these three little things here and show you guys what it would look like if you were to take out Wow if you were to take out this from this one and put it in here so that is kind of like what you would get so it would be just not you can zip it 
So you can see I did there, but it is going to bulge a little bit. You can see the bulging here, and it's not going to be an exact fit. Now, if you're one to not mind that, and you feel like you want to get rid of these three little things and put one of these inserts in here, you totally can. Um, it just depends on how picky you are. Um, me, I probably wouldn't do that because I'm a really picky person. <laughs> So yes, guys, um, but you do get three of these and these are actually pretty spacious. The width and the depth and the height, it's, it's pretty accommodating. Um, so you do get three of them that fit perfectly in here and you can also utilize this for something else. Like if you want to keep blister pack medication in there, you totally can. Um, I know on Instagram, because I, I think I shared this on my Instagram, I don't remember where I shared this. But I had someone comment that it would be a good, um, like a jewelry organizer, and that is true too. You could use that as that. You can use this for anything. That's what's so great about Vera Bradley stuff. You can use, you don't need to use it for what it's intended for. I just want to zip this back up so I can kind of put them all close together again. Um, yes, yeah, so you can see here. So that's pretty much how. Um, wide it is too. So I'm really excited about it. I did think it was a lot like it was I did not think it was going to be as big as it was but I'm kind of glad it is because if you do need to take like if you're going on a long trip and you need to take a full bottle of pills with you because you're going to be gone for a long time or let's say you're going to be gone out of town for a month visiting people and you need to take like all of your pills with you. I mean that is really accommodating. So um, yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think of this. Um, if you guys would like um, this product or if you would even have any use for this and if you wouldn't have a use for it, like something else you could use it for. So yeah, just leave that down below guys and thank you for watching.